thoughts for today, any hopes, wishes, <laughs> I can't think of anything either except you uh, just be with the guys, be with the horses, you know? into his own. A lot of it's this right here because she's so dominant and, and will run everybody off so we can you know, establish a place of uh, space to stay for which would be in the round arena. Uh -huh. kind of built that like that. So I was wondering if you'll feel like exploring that a little bit and what that, that's like for us to bring in whatever energies that we have, share them off. We all have things going on in our lives and, and, and thoughts and so hold your space and be uh, you know, comfortable with honoring yourself. And the same thing we're going to see if we can get her to, to connect and realize that we as people are out here are loving, we're caring, we're calm, and there's no reason she can't come up to us. Does that sound like something we could do? Sounds, and you can sounds show great. Us, you know, pictures of her. She really is a very gorgeous horse. I think she photographs extremely well, and you'll see too, Ron, as you go look at the, the pictures, how it comes out. Notice the dappling that's on her. It's even more pronounced. Those little spots that are on her, they're even more pronounced in the summer coat. But it's nice now. She's got the beautiful, gorgeous mane and tail, and the dark stockings that go along with those they called out on the on the legs there. A little black nose and a muzzle. And we'll see if we can help bring her out a little bit. Good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. Good. Good. Okay. We'll help Jess uh, today. We're going to help Shasta today. We shall see. So Shasta, anyways, she's not obviously in trouble as she run off. But the same thing sometimes with her, and what I've noticed too, is she is sensitive about touch and where you touch her. So we need to be mindful. And she's reaching her head over here to say hi. So I think that's okay. And for you all to establish that. And on the shoulder, I wouldn't go back any further than the shoulder. For our in our experience today because this is the strong side and that is the very sensitive side of course the nose part but she seems to be willing to bring it into our space because you know, all the little ears are here the soft part that and the tiny are the two soft <laughs> ends one on each end I love like the, mm -hmm. the dark detailing mm -hmm. oh yeah it's the English sports car yeah. <laughs> she is a beauty so sure what is. we're doing right now is exactly just being in the moment and allowing each of us to just do whatever comes natural. So if you feel like touching, but like I say, nothing beyond, right. nothing behind the shoulder. It's just keep in the, in the shoulder area. Yeah, I can feel the energy. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. And she's not biting, but she's right. like using her lips. If those ears go back oh. and any touching in any place, we want to back and release. With the horse, the, most of the things are not in pressure, they're in release. Put a little pressure on and then release. And notice, if you would, the way you're doing that, remember with Sam, you have to be a little careful with that, you might get a nibble. She doesn't seem to be nibbly at all, does she? No. <laughs> Look at that. If 
for someone like Shasta, that's amazing. No, no, no eating that. You want to be brushed? Or? That was very play. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, folks, if they don't, I don't feel like shooting right now. Yeah. The reason is because I want to stay focused. Yeah, you stay focused, and we've got this camera here. So do you think we should brush her? Because she was shaking yeah, the brush bag. Yeah, I think we're alright. Yeah, she's saying go ahead and brush her. Thank mm -hmm. you.